John Deere is a name etched into American farming. Green paint, roaring engines, and machines that dominate the harvest today. But what if the blueprint for Deere's empire wasn't born in his factories at all? What if decades earlier, a little-known Wisconsin inventor beat him to the idea of the self-propelled combine, a single machine that could cut, thresh, and clean grain without horses, wagons, or separate crews. This is the forgotten rivalry, Charles Withington versus John Deere. By the 1880s, Deere's steel plows had already transformed how farmers broke ground. But planting wasn't the real choke point. Harvesting was. Farmers cut, hauled, threshed, and cleaned their grain through a maze of separate steps, slow, exhausting, and vulnerable to storms. Deer gave farmers sharper plows, but not faster harvests. That challenge would fall to another Wisconsin inventor. Charles Withington, born in Janesville in 1856, had watched harvest seasons grind his whole life. In 1882, he filed U.S. Patent Number 255,894 for what he simply called a harvesting machine. It wasn't pulled by horses. It was powered by its own steam engine. Withington's machine cut, threshed, and cleaned, all in one pass. And from a single operator's seat, one farmer could control it all. California's combines demanded up to 40 horses yoked together. Stationary threshers sat idle until wagons arrived. And Deere's tools? Excellent for plowing, but useless for harvesting. Withington's invention was something new entirely, a self-reliant harvester. So why isn't every machine painted Withington green today? Farmers distrusted steam boilers in dry fields. Machines were costly, complex, and too large for most family farms. Meanwhile, Deere built trust and scale. His company adopted the same concept, only when gasoline and diesel engines made it safe. By then, Deere had an empire, and Withington's machine was a memory. Every self-propelled combine in those fields carries Withington's blueprint. The concept was his. One machine, one engine, one operator. But history crowned John Deere the agricultural giant, while Withington faded to obscurity. So next time you see a green combine roll across the fields, remember, the idea, it began with Charles Withington in Janesville, Wisconsin in 1882.